So Solomon, you've made history today yeah. for Jamaica. Yeah, so I feel very proud of representing my country and I've done the best that I can do as a developing nation and I feel as though I've done two really solid ones, a couple of little mistakes on my second one but overall I'm very happy with my first race. What does it mean for you to, to do something so significant, to be the first ever Jamaican to compete at a, an ICF event? Uh, to be the first ever uh, I'm very proud and I feel as though I have the responsibility of setting the standard for other Jamaican athletes with Inca New Farland when they come along. Tell me a little bit about your history. You're based in the UK now. Yes, so uh, I'm based in the north of the UK in Sheffield. Uh, I train at the National Water Sports Centre in Nottingham. Uh, and my mum and my dad taught me the basics of paddling and then through the club system within the UK, I progressed and sparling from whitewater and open canoeing. And tell me a little bit about your Jamaican history. Uh, so my Jamaican history is my dad's parents were born and raised in uh, Jamaica. Then during the Windrush era, they moved over to the UK. Uh, and then my dad was born, and then I was born. So yeah. And, so, and tell me, uh, are people in, back in Jamaica aware of, of what you're doing and that you're... Yes. Uh, all of my family in Jamaica have sent me good luck wishes and they said they're going to watch today because uh, obviously time zone so they're probably up at the middle of the night watching, yeah. <laughs> watching me at the moment, so yeah. And Solomon, what are the facilities like in Jamaica? If people wanted to do canoe slalom, is it possible to do it in, in Jamaica? Uh, there's no, the rivers are either too high or too low, so and... Jamaica, a lot of people use the rivers as facilities, so uh, can't really do it unfortunately, no. but uh, we're looking into it. So well, hopefully the people will see you and uh, there might be some moves to, to get some nice clean, safe areas to paddle. Yes, yes, hopefully, yes. And long term, what are your goals, Solomon? What are you hoping? Uh, my end goal is to win uh, an Olympic medal, uh, but for now just starting off, getting used to the international stage getting ready for all other races. Yeah, and, and how old are you at the moment? I am 16 at the minute. 16, yeah, yeah. so you have a big future in front of you. Yeah, so Today, obviously, uh, this is one of the toughest courses in yeah, the world. Yeah, very tough. Very obviously, uh, how do you, did you feel relaxed there, or were you a little I bit nervous? Very, I felt very relaxed. Uh, some areas between 8 and 9, I was a little nervous, because uh, that's where I, I had a few mistakes on my first run. Uh, I think the nerves in that section got the better of me today. But, yeah. And when you get a chance to, to go back to the UK and, and just settle down and think about what you've done, how do you think you'll feel about what you've achieved here and your place in history? I think w what, what I said before I came out here, I wanted to put a good solid time down uh, to the best of my ability and I believe I've done that. So when I go back, I think that I've done a very good job and set the standard for other Jamaican athletes in the future. And forever now, your name will be in the record books, which is something yeah. to be proud of. Yeah, very proud, yeah. Congratulations, Solomon. We're looking Thank forward you. to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Yeah.